Greetings everyone, and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7.3 video tutorial on how to adjust the strength in the motion clip. So when you update to Crazy Talk 7.3, you now have a new feature which allows you to adjust the strength of your puppet and your motion clips. So um, basically this is because before, when you had a motion clip and you dropped it onto comic characters, they looked okay. But when you use the same motion clip on a human character, you'd notice that the motion clip was too exaggerated. So now we're, we are able to adjust that strength. So first off, I'd like to show my character here. You might recognize this, one of my favorite TV shows. This is Walter White. I went, I got an image of Walter, and then I went through the face fitting process dropping all the points inside. Additionally, I gave Walter some of the new eye templates that come with Crazy Talk 7.3. Let me show you. Let me move this to the side. I'll go to the content manager and we'll see that you'll see that we have a lot of uh, the teeth, te uh, the eye templates that I mentioned in the previous tutorial. So these are new, beautiful, human-like uh, eye and teeth templates that are imported in from the Face Filter 3 uh, beautifying collection. So we have the same for eyes and we have the same for teeth. Okay, these are beautiful uh, human lifelike uh, eye and teeth templates that you can now use when you upgrade to Crazy Talk 7.3. So I went through the process of creating all of this, uh, creating this character, and then I dropped in my own uh, a lip sync for this character. I went, um, I, I captured some audio from the show and I did the lip sync for his mouth. And you'll see this right now. Now you listen to me. I'm the cook. Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Okay, so you can see the, the lip sync looks very nice. Now, it's a bit plain because we still have to drop in the motion clip. So, as some of you might know, if you want to generate your own motion clip, you just have to open the face puppet up here. And we have different face profiles. Okay, we have up to six or seven or more, I think. So, if you're using a human character, a photorealistic image, then I suggest you use either male one or female two. Okay, and this will automatically select certain uh, facial, facial features here. And we have additional face control. So, right now I'm in general. And if I press preview, okay, you can see that I can start puppeteering my character. Or I can choose something like angry, and he's upset, okay? So the way I like to do it is, if you know, if you've seen my previous tutorials, I like to clear everything. And then I select certain uh, facial parts, and I start animating those. Then I make sure the blend data on next recording is on, I reset, and then I choose a different body part and I start layering my animation. And I keep on doing this until I'm satisfied with the results. Okay, so I went ahead and I did this already. Let me go out and I have a motion clip here. I'm the cook and I'm gonna simply drag and drop this into the timeline. So let me open this up. We have a basic auto motion and we have our voice track. And if I open the lip sync panel, you can see that Inside are all the lip syncs that um, Crazy Talk generated for me. Later on, obviously, I went in and I started customizing these lip syncs further. So we covered this in a previous tutorial also. So what we're gonna, going to do at this point is I will grab my motion clip and I will drop this inside. Listen to me. Hold up, hold up. And I will bring this forward, okay? So... Uh, you see th that inside, now we have this little uh, horizontal yellow line. Now with this, I am able to increase the, that motion clip, clip strength, or I can decrease. By default, it's at 50. So I'm able to do it there, or I can also right click, and this menu opens, and I click on strength. And now I have this panel outside. So I think this, this will work for us. Let me close the timeline so we can see your character better. So, um, first off, before I show you anything, let me increase the strength of that motion clip all the way up to 100. I can drag this slider, or I can double click and type in a value, okay, and then enter. So let's do that. And 
I will play this project back and you will see the difference now. Now you listen to me. I'm the cook. Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Now, say my name. Heisenberg. That's right. Now you listen to me. Okay, so we saw that there. Now you notice that at this point here, um, that motion clip doesn't really fit because it's too exaggerated. I'm moving the character too much. So this is what I mean, that now I have the ability to use this same motion clip and I can drop this down to let's say 50, which I, I recommend keeping it at 50 if you have a human character or 50 or under. If you want to have a comic character, uh, you can increase that value from 50 to 100. So I'm okay here, and we will see the difference now. Now you listen to me. I'm the cook. Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Now. And wait say till he looks to name. the left, and you'll see that that motion Heisenberg. is more fit. That's you right. Know. You see? Not too exaggerated. Now you listen to me. So it looks very, very nice. Now, if I grab the same motion clip, or let's say I just replace the actor. Let me go back out here. I'll go to the scientist, and I'll simply replace the scientist. I'll replace Walter with the scientist here, okay, Dr. Finnegan. And now I will increase that strength to, let's say, 100. And if I play this back, you will see that it looks, it, lo it fits properly when I'm using a comic character. Now you listen to me. I'm the cook. Who the hell are you? You know. You all know exactly who I am. Now, say so my name. To the left, I see that looks okay. That's right. I and there you go. So that's what the new motion clip uh, strength slider adjustments do in Crazy Talk 7.3, which now enable you to use the same motion clip on different types of characters. Okay, we hope you enjoy this and we really hope that this new feature helps you out in your productions. Thank you.